Welcome to Macedonia, or North Macedonia, as the Greek uh, would say. Anyway, we are in front of the memorial of uh, Mother Teresa, and this vlog I'm shooting right now is for my mom. She wanted me to come here because another guy spoke very, very bad about this memorial, and he was Italian. I will be balancing these things by saying good things because Mother Teresa did uh, good things for the world and she made everybody more kind. Therefore, we're gonna go inside this. Uh, memorial and uh, well guys this is the entrance are we still in time yeah the entrance is for free and they told me that uh, you could ask uh, oh the entrance is for free but actually it's open on the other side which is cool and over there there is a statue of mother teresa but i do not want to mess up with their photo and uh, the chapel is closed so mom if i cannot go pray it's not my fault or maybe I should come back here earlier in the day. Maybe I'll try to come back here on Monday. Today is Saturday. We'll see. Also here it's closed. It's closed. Okay. So guys, I started this vlog. And uh, I will continue this vlog in another day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's Monday. I'm wearing the scarf I had in the first vlog in this country because uh, in the morning it's pretty pretty cold and now we are heading to the memorial of Mother Teresa Is it safe here? So let's see if this time it is open I believe so on the left side we have the statue she was uh, baptized uh, here because before this uh, whole uh, building uh, there was a church now let's go and see where can we enter souvenirs yeah no doubt is for free. This is the first time I enter something that it is for free in Macedonia. And uh, please close the door. Let's see what's inside. I'll be quick because her Wikipedia page is longer than most books published nowadays. If you have never heard of Mother Teresa, she was a noun. At age 18, she left Skopje to join the Sisters of Loreto and went to Ireland to learn English, which I should uh, do too, apparently, with the view of becoming a missionary. No, that's not my goal for sure. <laughs> anyway, one year later, she went to India to pursue her life mission. In short, her goal was uh, to transform the world uh, in a better place uh, by changing people and uh, letting people become uh, kind to each other instead of continuously making one war after the other and so on. In India, she's probably as famous as Mahatma Gandhi. By the way, I'll be going to India this March. Subscribe to not miss the future vlogs. Thank you. And in 1979, she received the Nobel Peace Prize. I think uh, she didn't care much about the many awards she won, because uh, her main focus were the people. For example, when she won the Nobel, um, there was uh, a usual conventional ceremonial banquet for laureates and so on, and the cost of this banquet was uh, about $192,000, and uh, she said that it's better to give uh, this money to the poor in India instead of simply making this uh, ceremony. She didn't approve uh, abortion and uh, that's probably the main problem people had uh, with her, but uh, I do understand both parties. Getting back on a positive note, let me share with you some of the most beautiful sentences uh, she said. 
Peace begins with a smile. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without living happier. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. If you can't feed a hundred people, then feed just one. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Every time you smile at someone, it is an action of love, a gift to that person, a beautiful thing. All these sentences, they do represent me 100%. And uh, that's probably one of the reasons I smile a lot in every video, even if the most bad things happen to me all the time. <laughs> Mother Teresa was probably one of the first and true real influencers, even if it was happening like 30-40 years ago. She died in 1997, I believe. And uh, with all the influence she had, she was often approached by politicians, which, at least that's what I think, do not attack me please, I think they were trying to use her. but. Somehow, she's always been uh, smart enough uh, to simply preach her beliefs and keep going uh, with everybody's life. Up in the memorial uh, there is a chapel and uh, over there I stopped the recording for a while, uh, I sat down and uh, I started thinking about my brother and uh, my father. My brother as uh, you've seen uh, in the video, you won't believe uh, what uh, he promised. He made the vote of chastity, the vote of poverty, and uh, the vote of ob obedience. I do hope this is an English word. And uh, therefore, it's kind of like Mother Teresa. He owns nothing, uh, he has to obey and pray and work and study, like all the friars do. And of course, uh, I thought also about my father. If all this is true, I do not know, but if there is a God, uh, I do believe he is in paradise and, well, I'm kind of happy for him, I'll probably never reach him. <laughs> anyway, we should keep going with the video. Can you explain to me the architecture outside? Outside? Yeah, well, why it is like that? Uh... Oh, with birds and uh, fish? No, oh, because yeah, it's a very strange or... building. Well, the architect, it's very complex building because everything has symbol. Okay. Sim symbolic for, for, for the architect. Mm -hmm. So it's a... Uh, what do you specifically want? No, no nothing specific. It's something in general, like um, um, why there is this strange tower like that on this side or there is no wall uh, on that side. Because uh, this section, the whole museum, mm -hmm. it's imitating her house. So you can see this is the model of her yeah. house. So the base of this museum is actually like the, this house. Okay. So that's why there is a door, because this museum is actually imitating her house. Okay, okay. And uh, her house was uh, near the square first? The house, yes, in the okay. square. And the symbols, can you tell me something about the symbols? That just said? So the birds and fish that are on the facade, mm -hmm. um, birds and fish are symbols of uh, Christianity, okay. and pigeons, especially white pigeons of peace, and usually Mother Teresa was saying white pigeons. Okay. And there are other symbols? Uh, of course, birds. of course, the whole building is actually uh, some symbol. Some other examples? Like, uh, just... Uh, like everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> One, uh, uh, the fountains, the four cubes. Okay. They represent four times when she visited Skopje, their fountains, because they are like connecting with the roots, like water. Maybe you should ask, there is a whole book about this uh, in the souvenir in shop. The souvenir Maybe shop. they have it in English, I'm okay, not sure. Okay. But everything has <laughs> have symbols. Huh? Uh, thank you. You're welcome. The tour is ended. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my mom is happy that I've studied so much. <laughs> now let's see if in the souvenir shop I can find a book that I can explain to her all the symbols, or in Italian, or in Polish. Maybe the last chance will be in English. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
So guys, uh, I bought some stuff for my mom and uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and in the meantime I'll be go send a postcard to one of my patrons. My patrons, for their amazing support, they get uh, at least one post that could also be a vlog every month and uh, if they become uh, bishops, <laughs> like uh, the chess piece and not the bishop in the church, they would also get uh, a postcard from me, from the country where I'll be traveling to. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Keep reading and believe in your dreams. Uh, ciao!